What I love about the Hunter is the, is the sense of history here. The Hunter Valley has some of the oldest vineyards in Australia, if not the world. Here at Mount Pleasant we've got uh, vineyards, the Old Hill Shiraz, which was planted in 1880 by Charles King. There's something really honest about making wine here in the Hunter Valley. The nature of our climate largely dictates the styles we make, the semillons that age so well and the medium bodied Shiraz that we make. You can't really hide behind any sort of wine making trickery. The wines are true, true regional wines with great length, great poise and balance, but also wines that have wonderful longevity. It's a really special place. Great sites here in the Hunter just deliver year after year the best wines. And that's what I love about it, that regionality, that sense of place. You know, that for me is what winemaking is all about. It's an exciting time here right now. Um, I think we're making some of the best reds we've made since the 60s. There's a real feeling in the air at Mount Pleasant that I haven't experienced yet in the Hunter Valley. One of my favourite aspects is, is leaving the winery and getting out to the vineyard just before dark and having a look at the fruit, no interruptions. You know, I guess a bit like O'Shea would have had in his day. It's really just the essence of the grape and, and trying to foresee the wine that I'm going to make there. That's a special time. The vineyards like the Old Hill or, or even Rose Hill in those blocks that he planted in particular, they're the ones that, that give you that little, you know, the hairs raised on the back of your neck. This is an opportunity I really relish. I mean, Mount Pleasant has such great sites, such great vineyards, and for the opportunity to be part of that story, part of that history of Mount Pleasant, it's the, the ultimate thing in my career.